do Christians know who the Rambam was and his 13 principles of faith? You know, Anima Amin Be'emunu Ashlema. And if they do hold that the Rambam was in a super wise man, you know, the Holy Tzaddik, um, well, then it says in the Rambam's principles, you know, of 13 principles of faith that Hashem doesn't have a goof. Now, thought, no, Hashem doesn't have a goof. Hashem is not a man. You know, he doesn't have a body. So those are my questions, and I'm very excited to hear your answers. Um, and I love you so much. I have your set. I just got it. My brother bought it for my birthday. It's amazing. I'm already halfway through the first volume. And, you know, just as already an Orthodox Jew who grew up, you know, with Torah and grew up with, you know, knowing what it means to see this just solidifies it so much for Hashem. Sure. David, thank you so, so much. Uh, Maimonides, who was a, a great sage of Israel, he lived for 70 years. He was born in the year 1135. Uh, he was one of the giants that Maimonides speaks about Christianity. There are the 13 fundamental principles of faith of Maimonides. Should, when speaking to a Christian, should one uh, quote Maimonides? The answer is never, never do that. This is very important for every person who's speaking to a Christian. Never quote a rabbi. Never. You'll never hear me do it. Uh, it's the most dangerous thing you can do, and it's it's almost putting a stumbling block before the blind, because the Christian really is only interested in the scripture, and one of the things I found out is the Christians are really sincere people, but they've been taught that the rabbis are are, you know, that's the word of man, not the word of God. So if you quote a rabbi, not only does it not help the Christian, it actually confirms what the pastor said, the Jews are following rabbis. Now, in fact, the 13 principles of faith are founded on scripture. They are. But it, I, I'm just, just, I need you to trust me here. When you speak to a Christian, the word rabbi had better not come up in your conversation. Later on, they will have a munas but I will tell you this, that when you're talking to a Christian, if you quote, say, my rabbi said, the, the conversation just ended, and the, the Christian is gone. I mean, you might continue talking, but they're going, yeah, my pastor was right. He says, you guys follow rabbis. In fact, what Maimonides says, his 13 principles of faith are outlined. You know, I got people who ask me, where are the seven Noahide laws in the Bible? They are all over the place. But because they're called seven Noahide laws, they're called rabbinic Judaism. Are you insane? They're all over the place. So never, the word rabbi shouldn't come up. Now, one other point as a as a, a ancillary element, it's not direct, but it's important, is this, when Christians leave the church at first, they're very traumatized. And for some, not all, there's a kind of feeling as, gosh, I spent 40 years in the church, and I was following men, and now I'm just going to follow God. And, and what happens is they then have trouble with trusting the sages of Israel because they're so damaged so hurt. It's not that they're not bad people again. It takes some time to recover. Now, every person's different, truly, but they have to be fed properly. It doesn't mean any fancy tricks, but it means they're so. Everyone is different. I'm not saying this is true in every case, but very often people coming out of the church have trouble with Tarish Valpe, even though they don't realize that the whole, everything without Tarish Valpe, whole Torah. You don't know anything. They don't know that. Because the only people who don't believe in the oral law are people who don't keep the written law. But they never thought about that in their lives. They'll find that out later. But never, never quote a rabbi to a Christian. It's not that it's right or wrong. It, it is so, it will completely shatter. The, the conversation is done. It's over. And you've confirmed to the Christian that you, you are, what you believe is based on rabbis rather than scripture, which is completely not true. You don't, Maimonides didn't give us the Torah. Maimonides is conveying, Judaism is not the religion of Maimonides. Maimonides is the, one of the greatest teachers of Israel, but he is not that he was a law giver, but he elucidated that which was given to us by Moses and the prophets of Israel. That's all. So don't ever, ever, ever say my rabbi said or this rabbi said. Just, just make sure that never comes up in a conversation with a Christian. Why? Because this rabbi told you to. <laughs> so just listen to me on this. Never, never do that. 
because it will cause them to stumble and we don't want that to happen. <laughs> Yeah.